hey guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a really 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 long time like I don't know how long but a long time and as you can tell from the title of this video I'm pregnant yeah so I found out I was pregnant I have to get my phone out December 8th so I've basically been pregnant through the entire COVID um, situation, global pandemic thing. So right now, uh, today, I am officially 38 weeks. So I am basically done. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, so I've been pregnant for... Today's so today's my 38th week. So I am basically done. I obviously have not done any um, fun videos um, when it comes to being pregnant this time around. However, um, I did want to at least put up this video to kind of recap my pregnancy as a whole. And then the next video that I'll probably start it's gonna be um, how I induce I'm going to uh, attempt to induce my labor and then labor and delivery and then maybe I'll even do like what was in my hospital bag for a second time mom um, so those are all of the ones that I have planned I um, I'm gonna go by each trimester because I don't want this video to be super duper long but um, just to have like a quick overcap and then I also do like how different it was versus my first pregnancy and um, how different it was with the whole pandemic because it has been very difficult to say the least. Um, I am actually sitting on a yoga ball right now. Um, the baby has a lot of pressure so uh, you might hear my ball like kind of rolling around but just disregard that um, so without further ado let's get started so my first trimester would be December through February so I call that like the pre pandemic time um, during that time I was still working um, two jobs actually I was a lash artist um, because as most of you know I am an esthetician and I do lash extensions and things like that so I was doing that and I also worked in retail at a clothing store which I was on my feet a lot but I only worked there um, every like other weekend on the weekends I don't even really remember I haven't been there in so long now um, so I did that and then um, the first trimester was a doozy let me tell you it was so bad I had lots of morning sickness I um, had lots of like round ligament pain the stiff low back like I was always hurting I had no appetite I was constantly throwing up everything um, I have had a lot and when I say a lot I mean a lot of skin issues with this pregnancy with my first pregnancy with Mason I only really couldn't wear makeup like I couldn't put anything on my face I couldn't do skincare couldn't do any of that I just basically had to use water um, with this baby um, and this baby is a girl we'll get to that later but with her I I could wear makeup I don't have any on today because it's like 95 degrees outside but um, I could wear makeup I can do my skincare you know the safe skincare but my neck down like I develop hives and rashes and like I can't use any type of oils or lotions or anything like I have to be careful with deodorant like it's been bad the heat and you know being a bigger girl anyway does not help but um, 
it, it just has been like really bad when it comes to that. I first felt her kick and like rolls and everything in February. Um, and then the only aversions I really had, the major one was like oil. Like if you were frying chicken or frying anything or chicken itself, just ugh, so gross. So that was really different for me because I actually eat a lot of chicken. I haven't really had, um, I didn't have much of an appetite. Um, something that happened in the beginning of my second trimester really turned that around but um, I didn't really have much of an appetite going in there so so far in the first um, trimester I didn't really gain or lose any weight so that was pretty good so for the second trimester which was basically like March through May which is like high pandemic time so the lockdown started I stopped working at both jobs um, closer to the end of the second trimester I did have like a work at home job through my lash artist job that I was doing but it only lasted a few weeks so I did have that um, but as far as like going in anywhere because I'm high risk um, just like I was with my first pregnancy I didn't have um, I, I couldn't work I couldn't go to work so I basically was on bed rest again just like I was with my first pregnancy um, going to appointments during COVID was so stressful um, there was a point where like my insurance got messed up you had to wear a mask you couldn't bring in someone like being pregnant being bigger having asthma anxiety and you're pregnant and you have to wear a mask it, it was a lot so when you are going to ultrasounds or appointments or whatever here at my doctor office I'd have to Park outside, text this number, give them my name and date of birth, wait for them to call me to register, and then after they register me, which usually takes 45 minutes, then um, whenever there's a room ready, because they want you to go straight into a room, they don't, there's no waiting room or anything like that, um, I have to wait for the nurse to call me to come upstairs to be seen. So, that was very frustrating because 15 minute appointments have gone to like 2 hour appointments with most of the time you're sitting outside, it's like 95 degrees, it's hot. Um, if I have an ultrasound first, ultrasound is always back, um, have back, are always backed up. So, um, like let's say my appointment for my ultrasound was at 10 and then my um, doctor's appointment was at 11 because they're in the same building like one's on the first floor one's on the third floor um, I would I wouldn't be seeing my ultrasound till like 1230 so then like or something like that like it's just it would be a mess it's really frustrating um, you know, the level of care wasn't as hands-on as it was with my first pregnancy um, I don't know if it's because I was a second time mom, because of COVID, because it, well, it can't be because I was high risk because I was high risk the first time. So, I don't know. All of that, it just wasn't, I don't want to say it, it wasn't a pleasant experience, but it wasn't what I expected it to be um, the second time around at all. So, during um, my second trimester is when basically uh, in March I got really really sick um, it was everyone in my house got sick but me my mom and Mason were the sickest and we were sick for a really really long time um, was it corona was it COVID or was whatever I don't know we never got tested for it at that time because they didn't know what it was when I went to the doctor they just said it was a respiratory infection blah blah but I lost 15 pounds in a week. I was constantly throwing up. 
couldn't keep anything down, um, no appetite, not loss of appetite, literally no appetite. I was like having to force myself to keep anything down or even try to eat anything. The only like weird craving for me during my second trimester was cereal and then Twix candy bars. Like towards the end when I started to feel better, like getting more towards my third trimester, I started wanting like Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles and random cereal and I don't really eat cereal anymore. But, um, and then the Dr. Pepper cream sodas, like I always have one somewhere, um, is the only thing that's been pretty consistent throughout besides ice. Um, and I eat a lot of ice, about two to three bags every, I eat about a bag a day, really, a bag and a half a day. So, um... So also during that time we found out we were having a girl um we had already picked out a girl's name which i won't say on here until she's born but um i had actually picked out her name and it went through a few changes um but say primarily what it is um like two days after i found out i was pregnant um yeah, so that was pretty much the second trimester. It was, it wasn't that bad because it wasn't as hot outside, other than like the appointments and the COVID and not being able to go anywhere and not being able to work and not being able to do pretty much anything, like not go to the grocery store. It's really hard to have cravings for things and everything shuts down by like five o'clock. It was intense. So for my current trimester that I'm in, my third trimester, which would be June through August, although we're not trying to make it to August, hopefully she comes this week, but um, my heartburn going in from the second trimester to the third trimester was really bad. I mean, I could not eat, I could not sleep, I couldn't do anything. I tried everything. Um, pickle juice always helps uh for a moment and then um my lanta and rollades and everything i didn't get the okay to take a meprazole until like a few weeks ago which has totally helped i can actually eat food again um i still only eat one to maybe twice a day um a lot of snacking in between like a lot of crackers fruit um hummus, um, guacamole, thought I heard something, um, things like that, um, a little snacking here and there, um, right now it's mostly like chocolate and almonds, I was doing chocolate cover almonds, but the chocolate on them tastes weird, so, um, I'm actually gonna do like M&M's and almonds is really just like my own trail mix basically um so starting a few weeks ago I have had some swelling in my legs and feet a lot lots of back pain no sleeping tons of insomnia um a lot of pelvic pressure um she hasn't totally I feel like she dropped yet but um, hopefully she drops a little bit more soon. When we went to our last ultrasound, which was like two weeks ago, I want to say, she was seven pounds, five ounces, and she was measuring like a week, a week and a half ahead. So that's true. If I'm 38 weeks today, she's measuring at almost 40 weeks. So this is why I want to induce. Um, like naturally induced. I don't want to be induced and I don't want um, a c-section if I can prevent it. If things don't go my way and I need to have those things happen, then that's fine. Um, so that same day when I had the ultrasound, I was checked and I was already three centimeters dilated, but I was not effaced. I was not, I was still super thick, so nothing other than being two to three centimeters that was it. 
sorry y'all I know this video has been all over the place but um, I'm actually in the process of moving and everything so I just wanted to get this out while I was technically still pregnant <laughs> but um, that's basically how my entire pregnancy went my next video will be hopefully bits and pieces of me trying the um, inducing methods um, I don't plan on trying the midwives brew until Thursday like evening ish so hopefully we will have a baby by Friday so I want to thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it um, please make sure to like comment subscribe do what you do um, I will um, see you guys in my next video. Bye!